Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Inspired Dishes. I know it's been a while, y'all, so but today I'm coming to you with something very simple. Now, Wendy's got a new um drink. It's called Frosted. I think Frosted Chini is with ice cream and coffee. I didn't taste it yet, but I seen reviews. So I just wanted to make it homemade, you know, at home. So yeah, it's so simple. So um, yeah, you can use vanilla ice cream. If you want to use vanilla bean, you can. I don't think it will really change the taste. And I'm also going to be using hazel nut creamer. Now some of y'all can use on um, the fish, French vanilla or anything. It don't really matter. But um, yeah, I like that taste. Also too, this is the packet I will be using for my coffee. It comes the packet I showed you earlier with the one that's pretty much inside of that box that I showed you. It's only a dollar. You can get it pretty much from any store, Walmart, from Company Dollar, anywhere. And yeah, that's optional, but I have whipped cream as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. Okay, so in a cup, I'm pretty much going to mix the coffee. Um, Yeah, I like to use a bottle, which I will you will see in a few seconds. I'm going to change, but yeah, I tried to put that in a cup with the creamer and mix it but yeah it, it, it didn't come out right that's why i use a bottle but yeah pour most of that coffee make sure it's instant coffee out not the coffee that you gotta grind up or anything but instant coffee yeah and i'll um, just leave a little bit because you want to have a little bit just to garnish and i added in the hazelnut creamer i know some people might be allergic to the hazelnut so like i said you can use pretty much any creamer it's not a specific amount but just put you some in there and yeah as you will see i'm mixing it and yeah it didn't yeah you see i'm trying to mix it and it still ain't really like coming together so yeah that's pretty much why i'm going to switch into a bottle and pour everything into the bottle and shake it up okay that is what's left over after i pretty much poured it into the bottle now i don't want to discard that so i added in a little bit creamer to pretty much get um, you know, like the most of it, and I will show you a little, a little later exactly what I did with that. So yeah, in the bottle I got that, and I pretty much just shook it. And like I said, you don't have to use a bottle, but yeah, if you want to get it really good and you don't want to keep turn every turn for a long time, go ahead and shake that, y'all. <laughs> and it came out pretty good. Now you see a little bit pieces left, but yeah, most of all, it's pretty much incorporated. So now, I'm, yeah, you see how the cup, it got like little residue. Yeah, we don't let it go to waste at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the ice cream now, and you can't really see as much, but I'm going to pour, well, not pour, but I'm going to put some ice cream pretty much um, in the cup and then I'm going to stir it around so the ice cream can incorporate with the coffee. So the coffee gets um, some of the ice cream as well. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right here. Okay, so I put a little bit of ice cream in there and you pretty much see how it's incorporated. You see the coffee got on the ice cream. Now I'm pretty much going to add more ice cream to pretty much fill it up. But if you want like a small um you know a small cup then that's pretty good but yeah if you want your cup like medium size big size then yeah you need more ice cream than that so i'm gonna add more ice cream as well and you see me banging it <laughs> like something wrong with me <laughs> but yeah you see me banging it because i'm trying to get ice cream off the spoon but yeah i added more ice cream as you can probably pretty much tell now the bottom of it cannot no longer um you know like when you try to mix it it's not going to reach to the like the bottom there so what i did Remember when I poured it inside the bottle earlier? Well, I pretty much poured the rest into the cup. So it can pretty much get to the top. And I'm going to pretty much do the same thing, mix it. Since it's easier to mix it now, I'm pretty much just going to mix the ice cream with the coffee, y'all. All right, so now we're pretty much ready to assemble. Now, this is the glass I will be using. Um, I want to use the clear glass so y'all can pretty much see it, y'all. So, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to pour it in there. Okay, now I filled it to the top. And ta-da! Like I said, the whipped cream is optional. They don't really have, I don't think they have whipped cream with the Wendy's one. But, you know, like I said, it's optional. And you see, like, the little specks? That's from the coffee. Like I said, leave a little bit so you can pretty much top it off. 
as a garnish. And yes, and you know how usually, well, I, I'll let y'all see the, see the clip. <laughs> okay, I know this is a little something different, but yeah, usually um, when I do recipes in the past, when I did recipes, I ate off the of camera, like when I taste it, but this time I'm going to taste it in front of y'all. Well, you know, not in front of y'all, but you know, in front of the screen. <laughs> so yeah, it's very large. So yeah, this is a lot of calories. So, oh, Jesus. But we ain't focused on it today. Today is a celebration for me. Um, it's on my other channel. Hopefully, if Lord's will, I'll link in my description. But yeah, today is the first year, um, one year anniversary of when I got attacked by pit bulls. I was supposed to have been going from that, but God made it to where I could still live. Just like I was supposed to be going six and a half years ago from my brain aneurysm. But God is truly good. So today is a celebration. The day when the enemy thought he was going to take away my life. I use those days to like celebrate. <laughs> so cheers to me, y'all. <laughs> oh. I'm tasting mainly the whipped cream. Oh. I got no straw. Mm. Now I don't know how it tastes at Wendy's or what's that, Foster Chinos? Frosty Chino, whatever you want to call it. But I know here, <laughs> it's my dishes. <laughs> this is good. And you can taste the hazelnut, but you also can taste the um the ice cream. It, it's just so good. And you taste that coffee taste. Um, I, when I was saying different reviews, they were saying it was like a splash of coffee. It's good, but it, like you can't really taste the coffee as much. But yeah, when you make your own, you can taste all that coffee. And this is exactly what I this is so good, y'all. So I'm about to um enjoy this off camera, y'all. <laughs> so stay tuned. Y'all have a blessed day.